Alright you guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm AI, this is AI Collectibles. What I have for you today is the DLZ Toys Sergeant Skull 112 figure uh, review. So, what I'm going to do is go over the figure, uh, place out his accessories, and we'll go through them. So stay tuned. Alright, so here's the Skull Sergeant outside of the packaging. And I have to admit, he's not a bad figure, man. I do like the style and the, de the design. I like the skull and, like, the extra paint and dirt that's added to it. I do think it's a pretty cool-looking figure overall. So let's go through them. So you get a nice base figure. It's very similar to Mezco. Uh, like, body-wise, like, for, I don't know, like, just the build quality isn't quite like Mezco level but you got to consider you're paying about half the price for this guy he's about fifty dollars US so and I grabbed two of these so if you wanted the troop build and you wanted something that's not quite Marvel Legends but not quite <laughs> you know is a little bit better than a Marvel Legend or like a GI Joe classified for style wise if you wanted something to fit in with your you know your Mezco or your other like cloth 112 figures I think it's a great fit. Um, so let's take a look at some of the finer details. So again, you do have your basic 112 body. Um, double jointed elbows, which are nice. You do get double jointed knees as well. And the, and the pants and the shirt don't really restrict the movement at all, so which is nice. Uh, you're not going to be able to do a full split, but close enough. Like, and then... The boots, which I like, which are a nice little touch. Sometimes you get boots in this scale and they don't do the ankle cuts. And in this guy you do, you get a nice swivel, um, you get a nice shin uh, movement as well. So it's nice that they are articulated. Uh, I mean the boots, you don't, you're not getting a lot of uh, detail there unfortunately in the boots but still i think he's still great looking overall right so let's take a closer look at the gas mask it's got a nice wash there especially around the filter you can see it's got some brown there it's also got some silver wash like the mask isn't bad and like the my only real problem is with it you get these little nubs here that are supposed to fit into the skull holes here and it doesn't quite fit. Like, if you touch it the wrong way, it falls off. Like, it looks great on. But again, it's like, whoop. <laughs> you know, that's kind of what happens. Like, these nubs are supposed to fit in these little holes here. But they don't quite sit tight enough. And, you know, the slight touch will knock them off. But, again, the skull, I think, is nice. It's got some nice painted details as well. It's got like some nice dirt and grime there added to it and it's got some nice lines like it's not you know it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination it does look great especially if you wanted to do like a black mask custom if you missed out on the Mezco one um, like you could pop this head off and put it on another like 112 suited body and paint it black and then you'd have a black mask figure right which would be nice so you know he looks great. He really does. It's a decent figure, man. Don't get me wrong. Um, for for about 50 bucks US, you can't go wrong. Like I said, the body, you know, it's there. It's not, you know, it's not a VTS Toys body. It's not a Noda. It's not even a Mezco body. But I don't, you know, I don't feel like it's going to break. Like the shoulders, you know, don't have kind of that sturdiness to them that I would like to see. Like they're a little bit loose. Like you'll notice from playing around with it, but not bad. Um, and he's got a, just a great range of motion, even with this body armor on, like, you still get a nice waist pivot, right? You can get the thigh cut, you can do a nice ninja kick, you know me, I love my ninja kicks. Right? Um, the guns, so, let's just go over the accessories then. So he does come with two rifles, and one also comes with a strap so you get a nice rifle here we'll look at that again 
not much going on. It does have some nice detail on it. Uh, and some nice wash. Again, it, all of this is just black. And it all pretty much has like this silver, like gray, or silver gray dry brush. Or like on all the black pieces. Um, it does have a removable clip. But, you know, there's no painted bullet there. Still nice that you do get the option of a removable clip. He's got the two grips. Nothing on it moves other than the removable clip. But it's still, you know, it's a decent looking 112 scale gun. And then you get this one as well. Which is nice. You get a nice scope on there. Again, like everything else that's black. It has that silver like dry brush across it to kind of bring out some of the details which is nice and it also has a removable clip no bullet in there but still it slides in and that's the thing like it's in there good like it fits tight like it's loose enough to come out easy but it also fits in there nice and tight it's not going to fall out which is nice and then you get the other head sculpt which is this you know mast you know it's got a nice like cloth mask here it's got the night vision goggles on it and again it's this is like one solid black molded plastic piece with some silver dry brush which is the same across the board so there's no real like detail and stuff i mean like i said a lot of this would be a customizer's dream if you wanted to get in there and paint some of the finer details on it me, I won't. I think it'll still look great in pictures. Like, I'm picturing this guy with, you know, a couple of these with this head sculpt on. Going up against, you know, John Wick. Use some of those, uh, like, casket blood effects on it. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to pop this head off and show you what he looks like with the other one on. So... Uh, I might need to heat this guy up. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's on there. And it looks cool. Looks good enough, right? Like, no, and it popped off. So I'm going to have to add some heat to that guy. <laughs> so I can get the head on. Ah, See, that's what you want to hear is that nice pop when you pop that head sculpt on. So, let's go over the hands. He does come with a nice array of hands. Like, this is where we're getting into, like, the Mezco style stuff. So, you get a couple of these, like, reaching out type hands. Right? You get the middle finger, which is pretty cool. Nice little Mezco touch. You get the single pointing hand. And as you can see on him, I put the double pointed fingers as well. Like he's pointing to his squad to move out. Right? He's got his gun holding trigger hands. To hold his rifles. He also has like just this grasping hand. If you wanted to put a knife or, you know, something else in there. Or just have him like grasp his weapon. Same as this, like, this is great. Like, if you wanted to have him hold on to the stock of his rifle, you can do that, right? If you wanted to do the two-handed posing. And he comes with two of those. One's a little bigger than the other. So if you wanted to, you know, hold it a little different or remove the clip, it's just, you know, a bigger grasping hand. And then again, you get another trigger hand. And another grasping hand. Or holding hand if you want. You know, again, a knife or whatnot that you wanted to put in his hand. But again, I think he's a great figure. I do. I mean, for the price of admission, you can't complain. Especially if you're into this scale and you really like Mezco stuff, I think you'll fit in great. Uh, I brought in a couple of figures that I wanted to do just kind of a comparison with. So, we got Vapor here. Which is one of my favorite Mezco releases. I just think he's a great figure overall. He looks freaking fantastic. He looks great next to him. Um, like this guy isn't standing. So he is a little taller. If we're standing at you know full height. 
but not by much. And then I'm going to bring in one of my favorite third party releases. So let's get Vapor out of there. And this is the, like, the VTS Bro Toys, um, Barrett. <laughs> I think he goes by a different name because it's a third party figure. But this is easily one of my favorite figures that was, I can't remember if I got him late, late last year or early this year. Um, I'll have to look because if it was early this year, this guy's definitely on my figure of the year list. This is just a great figure, great stitching, great detail, great paint applications. Um, just a, just a great third party release across the board. And when you're comparing the two, like this guy, I think cost me 20 or $30 more us than this guy did. And the value is there. I think this guy, I think they killed it with this guy. It's just a beautiful figure, you know, for this guy for 50 bucks, you know, compared to a Mezco figure of a hundred dollars or a lot of like third party SHF Moff X where you're paying about $100 US per figure, I think the value is there, right? The hands swap out easy enough. Almost too easy, I'm worried. Because <laughs> they seem pretty soft, but they stay on there. And they hold the guns okay. So, it's I really got nothing to complain about. You know, like I said, there are some things... I wish there was, you know, more painted details in the chest armor and the helmet. But again, I think the white skull helmet's great. And I wish the, you know, the respirator breathing mask actually fit a little better. Um, I'll open the other one because I have two to see if I have the same issue. But again, like, he looks fantastic like that. <laughs> he just looks terrifying, right? But then you do the little boop and it falls right off. It is what it is, right? But I think it'll hold up and it'll still look great in photos. So, this is what I got for you today. If you like my review, like and subscribe. Uh, share it on your social medias. Leave me a comment below. I will respond. Uh, thanks for the support. And I'm out of here.